Welcome back to another video everyone. So today the weather's all right uh, but has been a bit rubbish recently and I can imagine it's gonna get rubbish again pretty soon. So I thought I'd do a video on the winter cycling gear that I'm going to be using throughout the winter, what I'd recommend and why I'd recommend it. So let's go. I thought I'd do crack on with this video. Check this beauty out. Oh yeah, so you're probably wondering why have I got my MV race wheels on my road bike at this time in the year with a nice looking restrap canister bag on the front? Well, all will be revealed in this weekend's video, so stay tuned for that and uh, you'll have to wait and find out. All right, so enough of me chatting. Uh, better get home and crack on with this video. Okay, so let's get going with this video. But before we do, a little bit of a disclaimer. Uh, some of you might know that I coach and race for T3 Triathlon. Now, we are sponsored by Castelli through our main team sponsor, Saddleback. I will link to Saddleback's website and Instagram in the description below. So although technically I am a sponsored athlete through Castelli and Saddleback, um, I would, I'm not able to endorse, obviously, other brands, but I would never endorse or link up with brands who I don't believe in and who I, their products that I don't use anyway. And hence turning down actually a few brand deals um, because I don't use their products and I don't want to be misleading on this channel. That's, you know, it comes back to that transparency thing. I want to promote and, you know, link up with companies who actually their stuff I believe in and that I actually use. Luckily, I do use Castelli kit. I've used it for a long time. Absolutely love it. So, Without any further ado, let's get on with this video. So I'm not gonna run through everything that I wear over the winter, because it is quite a lot of kit, but I do just want to touch on my favorite bits of kit and what I would really recommend for you guys to get this winter to make your winter riding a lot more enjoyable. First up, we have got probably the most iconic piece of Castelli clothing is the Gabba. Now, this is their Perfetto, Perfetto? Perfetto, how do you pronounce that? Go on, help me out guys. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, there you are. Um, really, really nice jacket. Now this isn't 100% waterproof. It's part of the ROS line, which stands for rain or shine. So you can wear this in obviously colder conditions um, and it will take a bit of a beating with the rain. But again, it's not 100% waterproof, but I've used this in the absolute pissing rain and it does, you know, it does a decent job of keeping you dry. Now, a couple of key features which I really like. First of all, I get quite hot in the winter, even when it's really cold, when I'm climbing, I'm wearing too many clothes. It's just, it's not very nice to feel too hot. They've got these really cool uh, zippers underneath your armpit. So you just unzip there and then you get a bit of airflow to your armpit. So that's, that's pretty nice. I use that quite often because uh, like I said, I do get quite warm. Now this is also, as you can see, Gore-Tex which is really cool. You just know it's gonna be decent material. You've got two really nice big pockets at the back. Again, taking all your nice snacks on your winter rides. Nice high cuff, making sure you don't get cold air down your neck. That's really cool. And also, I like the zips on it. This <laughs> it sounds really weird, I like the zips. Uh, you can tell a good quality piece of clothing, I think, by the zips, like by the, the nice sound and the nice feel of the zips. Just, it just feels good, it sounds good. Um, nice little tab in front of the zip, just looks nice, little design feature. Also, another thing that I love about this, so I'm a I don't know if I'm the only one actually, I quite like dark cycling clothing. I think dark cycling clothing looks the best. And let me know if you agree with me in the comments section below, but obviously in winter, when it's darker, dark cycling clothing isn't the best idea when it comes to safety. So obviously you need to be having lights on your bike, that's a given, but Castelli have been really cool. They've basically put these reflective strips on the shoulders, as you can see. Now, this doesn't impede the look of the kit. I think it actually adds to it, it looks really nice, but when you've got cars and their headlights shining on you, these are gonna light up and, you know, increase your visibility, uh, not your visibility, but you know, your visibility to others and you know, that's a nice safety feature. I think that's really cool. Now, this is the Castelli Idro jacket. Honestly, again, one of my favorite bits of kit. Um, 
this is 100% waterproof. But what I love about this also is that it is actually more breathable than a lot of other waterproof jackets that I've used. Sometimes it feels like you're wearing a bin liner and you're just like accumulating your sweat inside of the jacket and it's really not nice. You undo the jacket, but then if it's raining, you get really wet and it's just it just doesn't work. This actually does feel a little bit more breathable, which is great. What I also love is it's really quite tight at the bottom, so you don't get any spray up your back. Um, or you do get it up your back, but you don't get it under your jacket, if that makes sense. I really like that. Also, a couple of other design features. It's got quite a grippy neck. As you can see, this red tab, it's a bit more like, it feels almost a little bit rubbery. Really nice, doesn't slip around. Um, it, it feels good, quite high cuff as well. Also, again, what I really like, sounds weird, but the zip, the zip. Listen to this. I just caught it. <laughs> oh, that is just high quality right there. What I also love, obviously, it's dark as well. I like the darker cycling kit, but it's not completely black. It's almost like a a dark grey, almost like a bit brown. It looks. I, I think it looks really cool. And also the subtle red features, like the red stripe down both arms, the Castelli on the back. I just think it's really, really cool. Again, it is Gore-Tex, so you know you're getting really good quality. This also fits really well. It doesn't flap around too much and packs up real nice and tight. So you can chuck it in, um, in your you know, in your bar bag, if you've got one in your back pocket or something, you just need to whip it out when it starts raining. Those are my two go-to. I don't actually use anything else really in the winter on top, but those are my go-to bits of kit. The next bit of kit is so sweet. And honestly, I've only like just started using, I just started using it last winter. Um, what I always used to do was ride with bib shorts and leg warmers. Similar to this. So I'd have a pair of bibs and then two leg warmers. And I'm sure a lot of you out there do exactly the same. And I was like, well, there's no point in tights. Like, you know, I've got my leg warmers, I've got my bibs. Doesn't really matter. They do exactly the same thing. Honestly, the first time I wore these, I fell in love with them. They are absolutely fantastic. These are the Castelli bib tights. Honestly, I actually can't remember the name of the, uh, the actual product, um, but man, these are absolutely fantastic. So, couple of key design features uh, just really nice comfortable straps that's that's one of the biggest things like if you're out for long rides in the winter you want to be comfortable real nice straps you don't get any chafing with these obviously so when you're riding with leg warmers sometimes you can get some rubbing some chafing it's really not that comfortable with these that is all gone so again one of my favorite design features are these reflective bits on the bottom of your ankles these are really cool because obviously if a car comes past like i said with the uh, with the other bits of kit this gets reflective um and it makes you visible to others. And also, if you're wearing bits of kit on the top and the bottom that have reflective bits, it looks like it matches. We all like to match. It looks cool, right? And that is it. Loads, loads of other bits of kit. Um, those are my favorites. There's reasons why I use all of that stuff um, over and over again is because it's so damn good. The thing is, a lot of winter cycling kit is quite expensive. Like, it's quite pricey. You are paying for good quality on a lot of these, a lot of these companies, and Castelli is no different. It's, it's fantastic quality. And once you've invested in the cycling kit, it will last you for a long, long time. So definitely do think about it. Again, like I said, leaving the website link to Saddleback in the description below. Please do go and check them out because uh, they sell some pretty awesome stuff. So there you have it. That's the end of the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Keep doing what you're doing. This channel's grown momentum, which is great. And also make sure you stay tuned for this weekend. Like I said, it's gonna be a video explaining some really exciting stuff uh, that's happening at the minute um, with someone in particular. That's, uh, that's a hint for those of you who have been subbed to the channel for a while or since the beginning. That might give you guys a little bit of a hint of what I'm doing and who I'm doing something with, who I'm doing. That didn't make any sense. Anyway, just stay tuned for the weekend and uh, have a good rest of the week.